Hey Skin Truth family, welcome back to my channel. So good to see you, so good to hang out with you today. So today's video, I am sharing with you a lip liner trick. I think it's called the Lip Lift Technique. A friend of mine, a makeup artist, shared this with me. She is amazing. She does the most beautiful makeup on people. And I was watching her Instagram and she was talking about this technique. So I tried it, I completely fell in love with it. I was like, I need to share this with you guys because she told me that it is something that she does on her clients who are more mature and a little bit older because I'm 42, as you guys know, and you probably are well aware as you get older, your lips tend to age faster than a lot of other parts of your face even. They will shrivel up, they dehydrate, they become thinner, and you get little lip lines and all of that stuff. So this technique just gives you that like pouty lip lift look to your lips where it's just, it makes such a huge difference. So I'm going to dive into this technique today. I'm gonna to share it with you guys now. I'm gonna do my lips with you guys. So before I do, don't forget to subscribe, join our Skin Truth family here. We are all about getting the best, the healthiest skin of your life, which I promise you will. If you love skincare and skincare tips and medical grade skincare products, that truly turn back the hands of time that subscribe join us here and also hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video which is Tuesdays and Fridays meet me right here on YouTube and then also head on over to my Instagram join my Instagram family because I'm over there pretty much daily with more skincare tips and makeup and beauty and mom life and kids and fashion fitness and everything that I love and everything in between. So join my Instagram family as well and let's dive into this video you guys. Oh my gosh, way to see the difference. So first things first before I jump into this little easy lip liner technique, you have to hydrate your lips properly and that is huge because as we get older we lose that hydration in our lips and that is one reason why you start to see more lip lines and they look more shriveled up we need to hydrate like really hydrate our lips with the correct products and the correct ingredients so my first little tip to you guys is this guy right here the revision the youthful lip replenisher this is like a lip mask I use this every single night I have used this for years you guys and it has made a huge difference in my lips I love it it coats your lips so beautifully it has a thicker consistency but it stays on all night when you go to wash your face the next morning it is still there but that is not where you lose the hydration you can rinse it off in the morning and your lips are still so hydrated it actually builds the hydration within your lips and you're gonna notice that your lips become way more hydrated naturally which is what you want so when you have naturally hydrated lips, you have more plump, more juicy looking lips, less lip lines, all of that stuff because all of that is because of dehydration to your lips. So that is my first step to getting those naturally younger looking lips, but let's go into this little technique now, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lip liner right here. I have nothing on my lips right now. I'm using the Wayne Goss, the Sepia Lip Liner because you wanna take a lip liner that is a little bit darker than your natural lip line. So this works out perfectly for me. So now what she says to do first, and this is really important, is start on the sides, but you don't want to start on the corner. And this makes so much sense, and I didn't ever think about this before, but as we get older, a lot of times our mouths on the corner will start to kind of droop down, just one of the fun things about aging, but they will naturally start to droop down. And if you start lining your lips from the corners, it can actually exaggerate the mouth kind of going in a downward slope. So she suggests that you don't start on the corner of your lip you start a little bit above the corner so that way it's going to give more of a rounded more like plump look so I'm just gonna take this and we're just gonna go slightly over the lip line but not a lot at all this is not where you really want to overline Okay, so we have one line there. I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so you can see that I have both of the sides drawn on, and now here is where you really wanna pay attention. So instead of going with the Cupid's bow, we actually wanna take this lip liner and go straight across. So you're not following your natural lip line there, you're connecting both those sides.
and that's what you get right there. So just by connecting that, it lifts up your lip so that it looks poutier and fuller in the center part of your lip, which I can attest to because I actually had a lip lift. If you guys have followed me for a while here on my channel, I talked about it, I shared a video with you guys where I actually had a little procedure done where they actually cut the skin under your nose and they lift it up because I had a longer, um, I think it's called like a philtrum and it just gave me such a like that little tweak just gave me such a more youthful look because it kind of shortens that area there so this is doing the same exact thing with lip liner it's just giving you that little bit of extra like lift and pout right in the center of your lips so then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom again i'm not starting on the very corner And now she did say too, if you have a more thin lower lip, I have more of a plump lower lip naturally. If you want to, you can take your lip liner and just go a little bit over your lip line, just in the center of your lip. And that's gonna give you a more pouty bottom lip too. I don't need to do that on my bottom lip. My bottom lip is already more full anyway. So I'm just going to keep it on my lip line on the bottom there. So we have that, now I'm gonna kinda of just fill in a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly, lightly go over and fill in so there's no harsh lines. I like to take it and just kinda of like pat out the edges just a little bit. But you can see what that did already to my lips. Just that little bit of a little tweaks of that lip liner just makes so much difference. So now I'm gonna go back in just with some gloss. We're gonna finish it up. You're gonna see the final look. I'm gonna use the Fit Glow Beauty, the Lip Color Serum in B. I love these. Fit Glow Beauty is all clean makeup and these glosses are so amazing, you guys. I am obsessed with like all these colors. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna go directly on top. And then I was just kinda of like dab it in kind of dab it all together and hopefully you can see the difference that that makes. So amazing, I've been in love with this technique ever since I saw her do it. So I was super excited to share it with you guys because you guys know I share everything with you and all my little tips that I find out, I come right to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this is great for all of us who want that little bit more juicy, pouty lips. So definitely give this a try. Let me know when you do. I would love to hear what you think. And if you have tried this technique before and if you use this technique, let me know in the comments as well. But I will link the few products that I used, um, the lip liner, gloss, all of that stuff. I will link that down below in in the description box. So open it up there for shopping links. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. I love you all guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.